is up florida outdoors people welcome to this channel hope you're having a good day hope you're having a merry christmas i am about to have myself a nice little christmas present myself um i'm gonna be going out on a snake rescue it's not something i uh really show on this channel that much but i do actually go out and um volunteer at a wildlife rescue so figured let's bring you guys along for uh this snake pickup um I'm not gonna show you the address i'm not gonna show you what the house looks like uh, i'll just show you getting the snake out but basically to give you a little bit of information it is a ball python i think it's a albino white python i don't know i'm not that great with morphs um i know a little bit about them but i'm not incredible with them but uh i guess it is this lady's pet or should i say the her son's pet and the snake just hasn't been eaten and she just doesn't know what to do she wants to get rid of it so it's where i come along so yeah let's uh go pick up this snake i got a uh, 20 minute uh drive ahead of me and time check for you guys it's 12 30 in the afternoon um it's been kind of a busy morning just getting stuff around for the boat and visiting family and all that uh i am filming this prior to christmas but this will be going out on uh, christmas day as kind of a you know celebration of um just life so hope you guys are along for the ride it's gonna be a fun one i'll see you guys in a bit see you all right guys so i think you can see it a little bit back there but um right now we're going to the pet co because i have to pick up some uh lights and um some cat litter and probably a harness for my cat so yep let's uh get in there you can see them a little bit it's a lot bigger than i thought but i'll do a whole tour of the uh tank and everything it's just temporary for right now so all right i'll catch up with you guys in a bit see you. all right guys so we're back in the car um word of advice don't go to petco right before christmas it's a madhouse actually just don't leave the house before christmas um spend time with your loved ones don't leave the house because it took me forever a to find a parking spot b to actually get out of the pet co because there was such a long line um i'm happy that i got everything i needed but geez guys that was insane so we're on our way back to the house um i'll show you uh the setup when we get there like i said this is all just going to be temporary so however it is going to sit that's where it's going to sit all right but i appreciate you guys being along for this ride i know this is a different video but hey sometimes i go out and do wildlife rescues it's not always about going out and catching fish and um you know hunting ducks you know sometimes we go out and save the animals that would not be able to survive without us so with that being said guys i'm gonna catch up with you guys in a bit see ya all right guys so i'm not going to handle this snake for too long all right all right we're okay like i said i'm not going to handle the snake for too long um but it is a very healthy looking snake um maybe a little bit of dry scales humidity probably wasn't what it needed to be at the previous owner but not seeing any health problems with it. Um, this is the first time I've worked with this snake, so I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to give it a chance to strike at me. So, as you can see, a beautiful ball python, fully grown. Um, yeah, beautiful girl. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but from what I can tell, it's a very beautiful female snake. So I'm gonna put it her back in her enclosure. Yep, and uh, yeah, get a real good look at her, guys. Very beautiful snake. Feels kind of heavy. Um, put her back real quick. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. 
So a very healthy looking snake. Um, the previous owner said that she hadn't eaten in probably about six weeks, I want to say. So probably just a hunger strike, but um, we're going to monitor and make sure that she goes back to a healthy weight. Um, but let me show you guys the enclosure real quick and then we will um, wrap up the video here. So give me one second guys. All right, so as you can see, a very basic tank. I'll give you guys the uh, long ex expanded view. Make sure she doesn't get out. Um, she's definitely too big for this enclosure. Oop. Yeah, I don't want an escape artist. Oh, don't bite. Yeah, this thing you got to watch about these ball pythons is they're escape artists. Well, snakes in general, but... Very basic, one hide, one water thing. Um, I'm gonna give her about a week before I try and feed her uh, because I want her to settle in. But it looks like she's trying to get out, so I'm gonna throw this lid on real quick. Okay, sorry about that, guys. The lid's back on now. It's not the cleanest of tank. Um, the mulch back there is my fault. This tank is like a hundred pounds, um, so it's. Not exactly light, but hey, at least the uh, the mulch is moist and the humidity should be okay for her. Um, very beautiful snake. Not a true albino because it doesn't have the red eyes. I, like I said, I'm not that great with morphs, but we got the hide and we got the beautiful snake with her water dish. So I'm going to give her a little bit to um, kind of just hang out and not have to worry. So, let her settle in. So, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you guys, um, she's back there, but this is my male ball python ghost, who is, shoot, I don't even want to say half her size. Um, he's just balled up in a little thing because I got him out of his tank. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that tank is definitely too small, so we will definitely have to get her something a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to put Ghost back because he does not seem too happy with me right now just holding him, but I wanted to give you guys a good shot. So this is what a ball python is supposed to look like, and then that's just one of the morphs. So, yep, let's, uh, let's get him back in his tank. I wish I could kind of give you guys a size comparison, but I don't want him to be nippy on me. A little bit, and he's probably going to be going through shed here soon, too, so that's the other reason. All right, and he's opening his mouth, so let's put him back in before I get bit. Yeah, he's going to be going, so he's going to be going through shed here soon, so... That's why I'm not handling him as much as I kind of handled her. Because while I was handling him, his mouth started open. I'm like, all right, we're done. I'm not going to handle you anymore. I'm not going to, I don't feel like getting bit today. So let me show you guys um, the other thing that this person had uh, the big ball python in. So this is the other hide that he had the snake in, which... I get boxes, you know, it's not my thing, it's not really what I typically put snakes into. Um, it works, I guess, but try and find, I try and find something a little bit more um, natural, like that big wood stump. So, that being said, guys, I appreciate you uh, tuning in for this video. Alright guys, so, I'm going to hit you with the outro, I'm doing this outside because... Well, it's Christmas time and I'm getting everything around and um, just getting everything packed up to go back up north to Brevard County and see the family. So I'm going to take this out to the dumpster, his old hide that it worked. It, it, I mean, it, if it works, it works. Um, but I want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Um, you know, stay safe out there, guys. You know, Christmas is a, is a tough time for some people so you know if you got people out there just reach out to them and
tell them you love them and you know spend as much time with family as you can because you, you never know how much how long you have with someone so that being said guys like i said i want to wish you guys a merry christmas oh by the way comment a name for that snake um and i will name it after one of you guys one of you guys' suggestions so appreciate you guys tuning in that being said always remember if you ain't wet you ain't hunting and fishing in florida see you guys